dietary changes that promote less red meat and less alcohol while encouraging recommended daily amounts of calcium magnesium your vitamins like vitamin a and d your fruits and your vegetables those do not have any side effects in fact they support overall health and in some women can help to reduce the size of the fibroids and their symptoms but what about the herbs and some supplements let's look at a few apple cider vinegar has become immensely popular for many conditions as natural therapy <laughs> in fact i think it might be the most popular natural remedy for modern times however it doesn't agree with everyone and unfortunately in some people it could cause side effects like anxiety heart rhythm abnormalities dizziness panic attacks tooth decay low potassium levels and acid reflux what about green tea green tea is considered generally safe for most people but some people could still experience problems like stomach upsets and constipation and what about chinese herbs like gui ji fu ling did i get that pronunciation right well gui ji fu ling is reportedly safe in moderate doses but be careful excessive quantities can cause sweating tiredness weakness of the limbs palpitations dizziness eye swelling dry mouth and urinary problems Castor oil is quite popular with many naturopaths believing it can help in fibroid treatment. They think it might help relieve some bowel related symptoms or improve congestion. But watch out because in some people it could lead to dizziness, abdominal cramps with nausea, diarrhea and imbalance of your electrolytes as well as low blood pressure. Moringa is another popular herb that many naturopaths love for fibroids but did you know it can also cause some of these side effects? Stomach upset including nausea and diarrhea as well as some blood disorders leading to bleeding from the gum or low platelet levels which can cause problems with clotting in your blood. In addition, some of these herbs and supplements like green tea, um, castor oil, moringa, they could interact with other medications that you're taking and prevent them from working properly. So it's important that you should check with your doctor that you can actually take them together. So what am I saying? When somebody tells you, hey, try this herb, it's really helped me. Please check it carefully to find out what is in the herb. Does it suit you depending on what health conditions you already have or any medications that you're already taking? Just because it's a herb doesn't mean it doesn't have side effects. And be careful of your sources for the herbs and supplements because some have been mixed with toxic substances which can cause significant damage particularly to your liver and kidneys. Let's go to question number two. Why do most doctors disapprove of or don't recommend natural treatments? Well, the reasons for these are pretty simple. First, herbal medicine is not included in mainstream medical training. So it is possible that your doctor may not be aware of some of these methods. Secondly, traditional Western methods rely heavily on studies and trials to demonstrate the evidence for how effectively a particular medicine or procedure or surgery works. Apart from showing how effective the method is, it also recommends the safe doses that can be used for different groups or who can have a particular surgery and who cannot. For the time being, this has not been possible with a lot of natural treatments. And this is why your Western trained doctor may not recommend natural therapy alone as a treatment method for fibroids. But if you have risk factors to fibroids like being overweight or having high blood pressure, of course your doctor will certainly support measures like dietary changes which have been shown to improve overall health and can improve your weight and improve your blood pressure in addition to other methods for treating fibroids depending on what your symptoms are. Number three question, can natural fibroid therapy actually make a difference? Well, this is the million dollar question. <laughs> but the truth is, 
We don't know. You may find women who say that their fibroids completely disappeared after losing weight, changing their diet or using some particular herbs, supplements or alternative therapy. But on the other hand, you will also find a large number of women who say they did not experience such benefits despite using the same methods. So I think you should have realistic expectations when considering natural treatment methods because everyone is different from the way we metabolize to the effect that possible herbs or supplements could have on our system. And that said, is it worth trying? Well, I think so.